Okay, so moving on with geometric series, we're being asked the following question. They want to know, determine the number of terms in the geometric series. So again, to the right here, we have the equation we use to calculate the sum of a geometric series. And we're actually provided the values here. So again, A of 1, that's going to be the first term in our geometric sequence. R is going to be our common ratio in our geometric sequence. Okay, and S of n, this is going to be the sum of the geometric series. Okay, so what they want us to do here is they want us to find the number of terms in this geometric series. Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to determine this. Um, our first step is we need to use our equation here for a geometric series. And we're simply just going to plug in our known values here. Okay, so we know that the sum of the geometric series is going to be 765. So let's fill that in. So we have 765 equal to, now our first term is going to be 3, so A of 1 is 3. Okay, our common ratio is going to be 2. And then we just have N here, that's what we're solving for, right? This is going to be the number of terms. Okay, and then we're going to have minus 1. Okay, and then we're going to have 2 minus 1. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Well, we know that 2 minus 1 is simply going to be 1. And anything divided by 1 is just going to be itself, right? So we can just go ahead and rewrite this as 765 equal to 3. And we have 2 to the n minus 1. Okay, at this point, we want to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Okay, so that will cancel. Let's go ahead and plug this into our calculator. So we get 765 divided by 3, and we get 255. So we get 255 equal to 2 to the n minus 1. So let's go ahead and get rid of this negative 1. We're going to add 1 on both sides. So now we get 256 equal to 2 to the n. Now, at this point, you have to go back to your properties of logs, okay? And we know that if we're solving for an exponent here, right, well, we can take the log on both sides, and that will bring down this exponent. Again, this is going back to the properties of logs. So again, doing that, we're going to get log of 256 equal to the exponent comes down, and then we get log of 2. So again, all we have to do now is divide both sides by log 2 and log 2, right? This will cancel. So let's go ahead and plug this into our calculator. So log 256, then divided by log 2, we get 8. So n here equals 8. So we're going to write n is equal to 8. Okay, so that is the number of terms in this geometric series. So again, we're calculating the sum of all the terms in this geometric sequence going up to the eighth term. Okay, and that is it.